Counter-Strike 2 launched just a few days ago with an insane amount of hype. As a replacement for CSGO, everybody expected so much, but overall the launch was a big letdown. From community servers to workshop maps to even CL Bob and CL Right Hand, the game is missing so much content. Obviously though, it's just a matter of time before they added in via updates, but since it's Valve, it could be a matter of days, weeks, months, or even years before we get everything. For now, it's not the worst start. At least the game is at a point where it's playable. Depending on your standards, uh, that may or may not be true. So today we have an open letter to Valve expressing things that we want added to the game as soon as possible. Don't rush it and make sure everything works as intended when the update drops. First of all, community servers and workshop maps. So community servers give literally anybody the option to host a server with whatever maps, game modes, rules, and even plugins. And to be honest, these are some of the best experiences you can have in Counter-Strike. Even more so than the official game modes in CSGO and CS2. From surfing to bee hopping, trading servers, 1v1s, retakes, zombie survival, and so much more, I have so many fond memories of the community servers in Global Offensive, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have similar feelings. So not knowing when it'll officially come to CS2, feels bad man because the thing that made servers so great was the implementation of the steam workshop where anybody can just make a map upload it and then whether you subscribe or join a lobby that has it it'll download automatically and you're good to go like literally you want to play a custom map oh don't even worry about it but without them cs2 just feels so empty kind of like how valorant has felt since launch hopefully we don't have to wait three four five years after launch to get them the workshop tools are already available and they are a massive upgrade from what we had before cash and cobblestone i want them to bring back the og maps i absolutely agree yes cash is one of the all-time greatest maps in csgo i mean first of all because of the skill jumps you can do but also just because of the way that it plays feels and just the memories that people have on this map Obviously, you know, the map does have to be ported over to the Source 2 engine, and I don't think that's good enough for FM Pwn. I think he's going to want to rework it using the new engine to make it the best looking version of Cache that we've ever seen. CS2 is also missing out on a ton of important commands like CL Bob that like in CS2 it's kind of like this where when you inspect your weapon just doesn't stay still and then if you do CL underscore Bob lower amount if you put it on zero there's literally zero Bob so your gun stays perfectly still no matter what this is essential if you want to be able to inspect your skins mid game without things getting all out of control seal right hand zero is another huge one because for a lot of people who play with their left hand or a lot of people who just kind of prefer it this way being able to play either left-handed or right-handed it doesn't affect the game in any way that's negative it's just purely personal preference i mean i genuinely don't understand why it's not there yet but it doesn't hurt the gameplay and for the people who like using it just let them use it straight up Another one is NetGraph 1. The original NetGraph had a ton of useful information. You can see your frame rate. You can see your tick rate. You can see literally every variable, everything. And in CS2, it's just this. It's just, it's super underwhelming. And it doesn't really give you any useful information if your connection is good or not. Yeah, they absolutely need to rework the net graph. And that brings us to our next point, which is optimization. No matter what kind of computer you have, you're not going to get the same frame rate as you did in CSGO. And obviously it's because it's a newer, more powerful engine. And if you have a higher end PC, you don't really have to worry about it too much. But the people on medium or low end PCs are the people who have to struggle the most with it. Because all you can really do is lower the settings as much as possible. And if your frame rate is still below 60, if it's still not at a point where it's playable, you know, you're not going to have a good time. Like your only option at that point is to basically upgrade and for a ton of people that's not really an option you know it's expensive to live you know not everyone can just spend like thousands of dollars on new pc parts so yeah i definitely think valve needs to continue trying to optimize the game as much as possible obviously the more optimized the game is the more people who can play it which means more money in valve's pocket so it's literally a win-win so i'm sure over the next few years it'll get better but as of right now it's just not that great in terms of optimization another issue with the game is the movement and obviously i did make another video talking about it it'll be in the card in the top right but yeah b hopping feels bad air strafing feels pretty bad you, like your character just feels really heavy and a lot of the skill jumps are way harder to pull off because of the movement changes you can still do them but but they're definitely not as consistent as they were in csgo i mean since the beta it definitely does feel slightly better than it did but it's still far from perfect and they still haven't fixed this boost right here. Absolutely game breaking. But do I hate CS2? Absolutely not. I think the game is a big step up from CSGO. And sure, right now it's in kind of a place where the content is lacking and there's a lot of things missing. 
but I mean, just take a look at CSGO. Everyone hated the game when it first came out. And as they updated it, as they fixed things, it got better and better over time. So I think the same is going to happen with CS2. Obviously the launch is going to be a little shaky, but give it a few months to a few years and the game is going to be almost unrecognizable. It's going to be way better. You know, I have a lot of trust in Valve that they're going to do a fantastic job because the amount of updates they've released since the original limited test has been unprecedented. Yeah, I didn't even mention arms race, demolition, flying scoutsmen, retakes, all the game modes that gave people extra content. And because there's no community servers, there's no way to really play anything like that. It's just competitive, wingman, casual, which is even sweatier than competitive, deathmatch, and no private matches. <laughs> However, though, the practice tools, if you're by yourself, are a huge step in the right direction. Press a few buttons and you don't even have to enter any commands. So, oh boy. Hopefully the next operation is a leap forward. I'm excited for the new case. Hopefully the new skins take advantage of the new Source 2 engine. And honestly, there's just so much to talk about. This game was, I mean, sure, I love Counter-Strike 2, but I'll admit that eh, it's not the most feature rich game. With time, hopefully Valve can do a great job and make it better. Anyways, drop a like if you enjoyed the video or if you agreed with that, what I had to say. Leave a comment down below letting me know if there's anything that I missed or just let me know your thoughts. I personally read every single comment. Yeah, I have no life. Also, subscribe with the bell icon. We're getting super close to 100,000 subs and I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support lately. It's been incredible and I'm going to keep doing my best to make the best CS2 content for you guys and thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great and safe rest of your day. It's Turbo and I'm out. Peace.